In this video, we look at an application of combining functions. In this application, we'll look at profit. We're told that the total revenue function for a certain product is given by R equals 940X dollars. The total cost for this product is C equals 30,000 plus 40X plus X squared dollars, where X is the number of units of the product that are produced and sold. So that's important to know what your variable is representing. And we want to find the profit function for this product. Now the profit is revenue, which is the money coming in minus cost. So this is going to be R of X minus C of X. So we're actually seeing an application of combining functions by subtraction. So I'm going to have my revenue, which was 940X. I'll subtract the entire cost. When I'm doing the subtraction, I wanna make sure I put the subtraction and then parentheses, and then my entire function that I'm subtracting. So I have 30,000 plus 40X plus X squared. And we have to remember to distribute the negative. So that's why I put the cost function in parentheses so that I'll remember to distribute. So I have 940X Um, minus 30,000 minus 40x minus x squared. So the negative went to all of the um, terms in the cost. Now I have to combine like terms. I have 940x minus 40x. So I'll go ahead and write this in um, decreasing order of exponents. So I'm going to put the main the minus x squared first, negative x squared, 940x minus 40x would give me a plus 900x, combining those like terms, and then minus 30,000. So that is my profit. That would be my p of x. So now they say find the number of units that gives maximum profit. And we're looking for the number of units, which is X. X is the number of units. So I'm looking for X, the X that gives me maximum profit. Now, if you look at this function, we know that it's a quadratic and it has a negative leading term so the graph looks like a parabola that opens downward. So we have this parabola. We're looking for the maximum profit. And so we're looking for this point right here, which is the vertex. That would give us the maximum. And so for the vertex, we know that x equals negative b over 2a. And so I just have to plug in the numbers. My b is 900, so I would get negative 900 over 2 times a. a is going to be a negative 1, because that's all that's in front of the x squared. Negative over negative gives me positive. So I'm going to have 450 units. So that would give me a maximum profit. And then they say, find the maximum possible profit. So that would be the Y in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and do P of 450 because we just found that the x value at the vertex is 450. So I have to do negative 450 squared 
plus 900 times 450 minus 30,000. So I'll go ahead and put that in the calculator. So I put that in my Desmos scientific calculator, negative 450 um, squared plus 900 times 450 minus 30,000. And notice the negative was out in front of the squared term. It was not being squared. And so that, that negative, um, you wanna make sure that's outside of your squared term. So we get $172,500. So $172,000. And I miswrote it. $172,500. So that would be my maximum profit. That's the Y value of the vertex.